everyone, it's Jacqueline and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to film a lush Valentine's Day haul because I have quite, whoa, what did I just drop? I have quite the collection here of products to go through. So I think we might as well hop on into it. So first off, I wanna start with this product because this is a relaunch. They brought this out last Valentine's Day. I think actually a couple of Valentine's Day this has been out for. Um, anyways, this is the Prince Charming Shower Gel. And this is actually really funny because this label is not in English at all. I have no idea what language this is in. I'm not even gonna guess. Um, anyways, Prince Charming though is so beautiful. I've had it before and I absolutely loved it. It's basically like a pomegranate and vanilla, very fruit, but like a little tangy kind of scented um, shower gel. Mm, it's just so good. It's not like your traditional expected kind of fruity flavor. It definitely has a little bit of something else to it. So super excited to have this in my life again and to be lathering up with this bad boy. Okay, next up I have what might just be the weirdest Lush product ever. This is called Kiss Me Quick Soap Paper. So it's literally a piece of like paper basically, but it's soap. So I think it's actually made out of like dehydrated apple pulp. Yes, something like that. I don't know how they actually make it, but it's literally like this thin little piece and it feels kind of like like a dryer sheet, like a fleecy. And it kind of smells like apples and laundry to me, but maybe that's just because I'm thinking of a dryer sheet. Um, it actually smells really good though. I don't mind the smell. But this is just the weirdest thing. I think I was like reading the description. It says like, oh, it can fit in your wallet and take it on the go. So I guess if you're going someplace that doesn't have soap and you need to shower, <laughs> um, this is your uh, go-to. But I'm curious to see how this uh, lathers up and actually works in the shower, but very innovative, I guess. Good on you, Lush. Next up, I have another product that's been out before for Valentine's Day, and this is the Kiss Lip Scrub. Now, you guys know I'm a huge fan of Lush's Lip Scrub. My favorite one is Mint Juleps, like the mint and chocolatey one, um, but they're like edible. You can lick them off, even though I never do because I kind of get grossed out, but this one is like a super sweet, sugary kind of scent. It almost smells like, you know those candy hearts that say like, I love you and like all those little sayings on it? That's what this smells like to me. It's definitely not like a bubble gummy kind of sweet scent, but definitely like a candy sweet scent. The way they package these is always so cute because there's actually little like sprinkles on top. But yeah, if you're in need of a very sweet sugary lip scrub, this one's a good one. Next up, I have one of my all-time favorite Valentine's Day products, and this is the Rose Bombshell Bath Bomb. Now, the last time I had this, it definitely wasn't pink. I'm pretty sure they've re-designed like, the, the look of it. Um, but anyways, this one's actually really cute as well. But there is like literal flower petals in here. There's rose petals. The time I used it, it was like pink and red rose petals, but I think this one is supposed to have yellow rose petals inside. I'm not sure. I will update you guys on Snapchat and Instagram stories. Make sure you guys follow me on like Instagram and Snapchat because I'm always like live demoing all my stuff on there so make sure you're following me over there that way you don't miss out um, anyways this one is just the most luxurious like you know when you see in movies when like people have like very decadent fancy baths and there's like rose petals everywhere like this bath bomb gives you that it's so beautiful it smells really good though it smells like straight up like fresh roses and I find normally when I talk about like floral scents I'm normally not like super drawn to them just because I normally associate like florals with like perfumes and walking through the section in like the bay where you get like a headache um, anyways this floral is really nice it's not one of those like sickening perfumey kind of florals um, it smells like actual real roses which is really nice so mm, super excited to have this back in my life Okay, and next up, I have what might just be the most millennial product from Lush ever. It's called Love Struck. It's a bubble bar. And if you couldn't tell, it's the heart eyes emoji. And I think this is so funny because I was reading... Okay, this is like crumbling in my hand. Um, I was reading online about all the Valentine's Day products before they actually launched. And it was like, why send a heart eyes emoji to your crush or your Valentine's? Give them the heart eye emoji bubble bar. And I was like, okay, Lush, I see you. Um, anyways, I think it's a really cute idea, though. And... Um, it smells like very lemon. Oh my god, this is crumbling everywhere. What the heck? Um, it smells really good. It smells like lemon and lemon and like a hint of like laundry. I feel like I've been saying everything smells like laundry, but there's kind of like a cleany kind of soapy smell to it, but with lemon like as well. Am I making sense? I'm not sure. Next up, I have one of my favorite types of products from Lush, and that is their massage bars. I think they're super innovative, and they were like the first company to ever create like a solid lotion, um, and that's what this is. This one is called Love Spell, and this one smells very florally. It kind of smells like roses, but also like a sweet vanilla kind of in there as well. What's actually in the ingredients of this? Oh, the ingredients also say it has aloe vera in there as well as jojoba oil, rose hip syrup, 
and obviously lots of cocoa butter and shea butter because that's what this is actually made out of. But yeah, anyways, basically the way that you use massage bars, um, you heat them up in your hand and they start to melt. It's actually already melting in my hands. Um, you just kind of like rub it all over your body and it's a very like rich, like beautiful oil. So it's really nice to do after a bath, like right before you hop in bed and get into like warm PJs. Um, anyways, I love these and I'm so excited to try out this one. Because this one is brand new for this Valentine's Day season. They've never launched this before. So super excited about this. Okay, next up I have another brand new bath bomb and this one is very powdery. This is called Cupid and it's like a little heart with a little arrow through it. And this smells very unexpected. Like, I mean it's definitely a floral, it's got violet inside. But it's not your traditional kind of Valentine's Day like jasmine-y rose kind of scent. It's a very kind of fresh and spring kind of, kind of flavor I was going to say, kind of fragrance. Um, but honestly this reminds me, this is going to be really weird, it smells like the juice place that I go into to get my juice. Like. You know that smell when you walk into like a fresh pressed juice place and you just smell like all the vegetables and like all of like the freshness? Not that this smells like a straight up carrot or a vegetable or anything, but it definitely has that kind of like fresh juice place kind of smell. And I'm kind of into it. You know me, I love me my juice. Anyway, super excited to try this one out and I have a feeling that it's going to look really pretty in the water because it's a really pretty kind of light pink color, so pumped about that. Next up, I have a bath melt here, and this one is called Two Hearts Beating as One. And it actually is like two little pieces, so you can use them separately, but they kind of go together, and you got like a little 3D heart going on. Um, anyways, this one is brand new for this Valentine's Day season. And the fragrance of this is kind of like throwing me off because it's made with tons of almond oil, so it's super moisturizing, right? So that's why I really love bath melts. You basically just kind of toss them in your tub and they melt kind of like, this is gonna sound really gross, but like a stick of butter almost, and they kind of like melt and make your bath water very milky and very hydrating, which I love, especially in the cold winter months. But the fragrance of this, it's like got jasmine inside, but also tons of almond oil, so it's kind of like, I'm kind of getting peanut butter and like jelly vibes from this. Not like super sweet, there definitely is that floral to it, but I don't know, I'm kind of confused because it doesn't smell as florally as I would expect from a product like this. But either way, I'm excited to see how this feels on my skin in the tub because I have a feeling that I'm going to like it. And I might even be a little excessive and throw both pieces in because, I mean, of course that's something I would do. Okay, next up we have the ever so famous Unicorn Horn Bubble Bar. And this has been out for a couple of Valentine's Day seasons now. And this is like a very subtle kind of lavender soothing kind of bubble bar, which I actually really love the fragrance of this. Like if you like Twilight Bath Bomb or Sleepy Hand Lotion, it's all the same family of scents. Mm, yeah, this mixed in with the Twilight Bath Bomb, I feel like would be such a winning combination for a bath cocktail. Um, I will warn you guys though, there definitely is a bit of like a silver luster on there, so I know some of you guys don't like glitter or any sparkle in your bath because it's kind of hard to clean out sometimes, so you've been warned. Next up, I have a bath bomb here that I'm pretty sure I'm going to fall in love with. This is called Lover Lamp. Lover's Lamp or Lover Lamp? Lover Lamp. Um, and this has tons of vanilla inside and cocoa butter and olive oil. So I have a feeling it's going to be very moisturizing and super like silky on the skin, which is like my ideal like bath bomb. But yeah, I can definitely see a lot of people liking the fragrance of this because it's pretty mild and not too like in your face. So super excited about this one. Next up, I have a brand new soap. This is called Love You Lots, and it says, I'm pretty sure it says Love You Lots on it, because I can see the word love here, um, but it's obviously like cut. Um, but yeah, this is very floral. It's more of like a sweet floral though, like it smells like a very soapy sweet floral. Um, it's exactly what you kind of expect if someone was to say, hey, here's our rose soap. But that being said, I actually really like the fragrance of it, and I think it'll be nice to kind of have a little seasonal Valentine's Day soap sitting out of my bathroom, and it actually feels really moisturizing too. I'm not sure if it's just because it's melting from the heat of the lights in my room, um, or if it actually is going to be very moisturizing, but if so, that'll be an added plus. Then I've got the Kiss Lip Gloss here, and I've actually never tried any of their like lip balms or lip glosses that come in the tube. I've only ever had their potted um, lip balms, but I'm not really sure how this is going to be a lip gloss because it's definitely in a stick form. But let me give it a little swatch on my hand. Ooh, this actually looks really nice. It's a very light, um, kind of frosty, cooler baby pink color, but it's definitely not super pigmented at all. It's definitely more of like a tinted lip balm, but it feels really moisturizing and really hydrating just on my hand here. So I guess if you are on the hunt for a really wearable um, lip, kind of tinted lip balm, but you still want a little sparkle and a little something, this might be the one to go for. Okay, and last but not least, I have this bath balm called Over and Over Here, and I am so excited about this one. When you smell it, like it instantly like energizes you. It smells like either, I can't decide if it smells like a lime slushy or if it smells like the orange flavored fun dip like sugared powder, sugared powder, powdered sugar. Um, 
Oh my god, it's so good. Like, if you like very, like, citrusy, kind of candy, sweet scents, this one is for you. This one will, like, wake you up. It's definitely not the type of bath bomb to use, like, before bed when you're trying to, like, relax because it's just so energizing and so, like, mm, it just smells like candy and sweetness and citrus. And, um, yeah, I'm super excited about this. It's also, I think, going to be really moisturizing because this top layer here is, like, I'm pretty sure they're made out of cocoa butter. Yeah, it's made out of cocoa butter. Um, but you know, this actually reminds me a ton of a bath bomb that came out around Christmas time. Can't remember what it was called, but it looked very similar to this, except the top was like a pinky kind of red color. It didn't smell the same, but it was very moisturizing and it had like the top layer that was made out of cocoa butter as well. And it made my bath so milky and just so hydrating and it was just uh, so luxurious. So, mm, super excited about this. Um, I don't really see how this fits into the whole Valentine's Day kind of like collection because it is so different and so unique, but. I guess I have a little bit of everything for everyone, so if you do like citrus, definitely smell this one. Okay, so that is it. Those are all of the Valentine's Day products at Lush this year, and I'm super excited about it. I mean, you guys know me. I love Lush, but the one thing that I love more than Lush is seasonal, limited edition Lush products, so I'm super hyped. Make sure you guys let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see more Lush-related videos. Be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already because I'm posting new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, so lots of videos coming up soon. Thanks guys so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon. Bye! really cool mm -hmm. um, and you can get kind of like a stain and really build it up to a gloss so what I'm gonna do is just kind of like tap it in the center blend and then we're gonna go back in with